Hello everyone and welcome to Bambi Patterns, your smiles and laughter garment crafting journey. Time to make the kiddos in your life this quick and beginner friendly beautiful papillon shorts. Refer to the link in the description for the pattern. Time stamps have also been included in the description. For this video we are using the vibrant orange leaf patterned fabric. 1. Lay out the pattern on the fabric, trace out the notches, pocket line and cut the fabric pieces. 2. Overlock all the edges. Three, take the right back piece, it has a deeper crotch line, and the right front piece, match the notches, and sew the side seam based on the allocated seam allowance written on the pattern. Do the same for the other side. Take the bow, match the right side of the fabric together and sew on the wrong side of the fabric based on the seam allowance written on the pattern. But leave a small opening that will allow you to turn it inside out. We are not trimming the seam allowance because it will add to the stiffness. Turn the ball correct side out using the small opening. Once done, sew on the edge of the opening to close it. 5. Every time you sew a seam, you should press it. So it's time to use a steaming iron and press the seam sewn on the short. The ball, fold the loop and press. Measure the seam allowance around the pockets and press. The top part is folded on a folding line displayed on the pattern. And finally, fold the waistband in half and press. Six. Time for the pockets. Using a candle or a lighter, burn the elastic side to prevent the elastic from unraveling. Match the one end of the elastic to the side of the fabric and sew. Do the same with the other side. Thereafter, sew the elastic in using the same allowance of 0.4 cm or 0.2 inches from the overlocker edge. Stretch the elastic, this will allow you to sew. 7. Using the center notch of the pocket, place it directly against the side seam with the top side of the pocket on the pocket indicator line. Do not worry about reaching the ends of the line on either side. Fold the pocket side seam where it was previously pressed, pin it and sew the side 0.4 cm or 0.2 inches from the edge. Do the same with the other side. Sew the inner side seam of the right pieces then 
do the same with the left pieces. 9. Join the right and left pieces, align the inner side seam together to sew the crotch seam from back to front. You can use this tool to pull the hanging overlocker thread into the stitched overlocker stitches, but I prefer to tie a knot as it's quicker. Ten. Press your sewing then measure and fold the hem, then press it. 11. Sew the hem 1.5 cm or 1 inch from the folded edge. 12. Sew the belt together to make a loop. Using the sewn seam, match the back of the shorts. It has a deeper crotch. Match the front seam with the front waist notch or waistband notch. Do the same with the side seams. Then sew the waistband to the shorts but leave a small opening at the back to insert the elastic. Thirteen. Sew 1.5 cm or 1 inch from the top folded edge of the waistband. 14. Next, insert the waistband elastic. Do not forget to burn the elastic side first to stop it from unraveling. Then pull it through the waistband and join the overlapped elastic ends and sew the area. You can use zigzag stitches if you are using a domestic machine. 15. Pull the elastic fully into the waistband and close the opening with the allowed seam. 16. Sew the edge side of the loop. Thereafter, join the loop top end and bottom and sew together. 17. Take the bow fabric piece and fold it to create the bow. Sew the center to form the shape and insert the bow into the loop. Position the loop in the center of the bow. 18. Adjust the waistband and place the bow on the front side of the waistband and sew into the fold to secure it. 19. Take your garment and press your finished product. And 20. Congratulations! The papillon short garment crafted is finished.